Yeah, why y'all put cheese on my cheeseburger? I'm sorry, what? Shut your bitch ass, I'm gonna come in there and shoot your- So the PlayStation 5 was finally confirmed and it is said to come out holiday of 2020. So whenever a new console comes out, they always had these new specs that were never on previous consoles. And with that being the case, people now start to speculate on what the new consoles will have. Like, I remember when the PS4 was confirmed and I expected it to look like this. And when the Kinect came out, I expected it to be good. So today, my dear friends, even though I know none of you, why are you in my house? I'm going to talk about the things that I want on the new PlayStation 5. Thing 1, Backwards Compatible. So when the PS2 came out, you had the ability to play PS1 games. And when the PS3 first came out, you had the ability to play PS2 games. And then the PS3 Slim came out. And they took that ability away. Why? What was the point of doing that? And then when the PS4 came out, you weren't able to play any games from the previous consoles. Unless they're in the PlayStation Store, which for PS2 they had a shit variety of games, or unless you buy PS Now to play PS3 games. Even though it would have been so much simpler if I could just take the disc I already own and put it in the damn console. Look, if I want to play Tulip on the PS5, just let me play Tulip on the PS5! I know why you guys don't do it. It's because of money. You guys want people to buy old games in the virtual store or buy one of the HD collections, right? Remember Silent Hill? Because I know damn well you guys have the technology to make the PS5 backwards compatible. Look, if I could play PS1, 2, and 3 games on my PC, then you can damn sure make the PS5 backwards compatible. Thing 2, console design. Look, at the end of the day, you can have all the cool shit you want on your console, but the design of the console is what we really care about. It needs to have a beautiful exterior design with a sexy look to get people's attention. And it can't be too big as well because no one wants a brick for a console. But not too small either because you at least want it to feel expensive. And each button on the system needs to have a nice yet soft button click to it. If they get all of those things right, the console should come out looking something like this. Thing 3, first game at launch. Now, I was making jokes about the PlayStation 5 having Grand Theft Auto 6 at launch, but in all seriousness, we need a good ass game at launch. Because the moment you have a top tier game at launch, your console is automatically top tier. Unless you are the Sega Dreamcast. So for the first game, we need to bring back a classic that people have been waiting decades for. So for the first game at launch, we need her. Thing 4. Okay, so here's some context for Thing 4. So if you watch my video on what I want from E3 2019, I made a joke on Cyberpunk 2077 about this new controller idea that should be a pre-order for the game. But now I'm kind of curious about that DR headset idea. Now, obviously it will only work for M-rated games. No one's going to be able to use that shit playing Dora. It has an automatic cleaning system for each, uh... <sighs> Use, matter of fact, I think it needs to be more exclusive than that. It should only be limited to 20 games. Because the moment someone tries to use this shit on Five Nights at fucking Freddy's, we're just gonna discontinue the product at that point. We're not shipping any more out and you've lost all your privileges. Go to your room. Thing 5, and this one's for me personally, but uh... Parappa the Rapper 3. Parappa the Rapper 3. Where the f is Parappa the Rapper 3. Thing. What number are we on? Oh, oh shit. Oh, Thing 6 controller. Now I do like the fact that they're changing the rumble feature and adding a brand new system called the Habitat Feedback, but I feel like we can bring that a step further. We can make the controller technology so immersive that it feels like you are actually being transported into the game itself. I'd call it the Hyper Interactive Virtual System. This system will not only make you feel hot in hot areas and cold in cold areas, but whenever you're in the snow for too long, the controller will get so cold that you'll receive hypothermia. 
and whenever you fall into lava in a game, the controller will get so hot that you'll receive third degree burns. But wait, there's more! Whenever your character receives damage in a game, the controller will transmit an electromagnetic shock to your body that feels just like your character's pain. So because of this new controller, every From Software game will now have a warning label on it, basically stating, you are out of your f***ing mind if you play any of these games with this controller, you sadistic bastard. Thing 7, and this one might be the most important one, the reveal. When you announce the PS5, it has to be a grand reveal. I'm talking Disneyland grand. It has to be the biggest reveal in gaming history. And we also need someone big to do the reveal. We can't have a corporate ass from Sony doing the reveal. Get your sweaty hands off that! We need a celebrity to do this reveal. And what better star to reveal the PS5 than Little Pump? Okay, to be honest, I don't really care about any of these things. As long as the console looks like this, I won't complain. <laughs>